Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back with probably the most epic build of 2020. Um, this is this is uh, I shot the you know the big one when I uh, when I grabbed this build. So this is something I wanted to do, and I advertised it on my uh, community page for a while, and now here it is, and pieces are rolling in. So let's do it. You see, it's the Capo JK Max 2020 version. And I want to go over the kit with you and what I've done to it so far. And here we go. So here's what we got, guys. Uh, I ordered a uh, Capo JK Max unpainted version. This is how it comes. It comes in a silver primer and uh it uh it was a, it was a challenge to get this kit let me tell you um this was basically a pre-order um from what i understand and they had some delays in shipping and they had some delays at the factory and so i actually bought this kit way back uh september october and it finally um you know finally came about and I guess I want to thank uh, Rosen from uh, uh, Tin Tin Hobbies. Um, he, went, this guy, went above and beyond to help me get this thing, and uh, I appreciate him, you know, for everything he's done greatly. Um, so there are some uh, there's some changes in the the uh, the 2020 version. Um, they they said it was going to come with a light kit, so I'm going to try to bang that up for you here. It has uh, the Capo light kit with it. Okay, this is basically your headlights, your dash lights, and your tail lights. It doesn't have the light bars on the top. Um, uh, another upgrade that I see that they had picked up was um, it, they put the front mounted servo set up in there. You know, instead of the cable driven, um, I don't know if they had issues with that or what. I I was expecting the cable driven because I kind of wanted a, a nice clean look in the front, but it is available as an option. Um, now the disc brakes I had bought prior to this, I have already done a video on the uh, the disc brakes that are the functioning disc brakes. Um, you know, they're they're pretty pretty scale. And the reason that I had bought these disc brakes for this kit, and uh, it was basically the disc brakes that gave me the idea of this right here. And so it's been some retrofitting and thinking and yada, yada, yada. But I got the Toyin um, FS100 methanol version it sets right in there like it was built for it. It is amazing how this thing sits right in there. All I had to do was make one bracket to set it in. And uh, as you can see, it sits nice and low. And um, I'm working on a transmission setup right now. I could use the stock transmission with this thing and put a, you know, and have a two speed, but there will be no reverse with it. So. And I do want to keep the uh, the interior with the seats and all that stuff, um, you know, to kind of keep it scale looking as a kit and go from there. Now, <laughs> one of the problems I had with this kit, other than trying to receive it, um, you see it's, it's not put together yet. I'm still in the middle of putting it together. For the simple fact... Um, this kit has over 20 bags of hardware with it, okay? And it is, it seems like it's really complicated. But, however, if you've been in the hobby and you've put some things together in your time, it's a piece of cake. Um, it's just basically, you know, it's, it's playing Tetris. You're trying to put all these different pieces, like the frame rail pieces, the angle pieces, and all this stuff together. For the simple fact... Um, it was harder for me because I had no directions with this kit. Um, now in prior kits, the, um, in this little slot back here, 
you know, in the kit, there was a, uh, a flash drive that had all your directions in it. However, this was uh, no, not there. You have to go online and download them. So I did that, and the problem I had was my firewall kept um, messing with the download. I would translate it to English, and I would download it, and then when I would go to, because um, basically they got videos of this to you know help you put it together, and it's they're very clear, very simple. They show you what hardware goes where, and uh, so every time I went to download it and open it, everything come up in Chinese, and there was a login page where I had to go and log in, and I couldn't translate it, and it was, I just kept going around circles, so I had downloaded this thing three times on my computer, my firewall was having a fight with it, and it was a nightmare, so I just shut the laptop, opened the bag, started looking at it, and see to the pants my build. Uh, if anybody's got a, you know, a version of this in English or something that they could hook me up with, that would be cool, but I'm almost through the whole build now, so... So anyway, I mean, so this kit is super high quality. I mean, I, you know, this is this is one of them kits I wanted uh, before they plugged me into the ground. Um, I got it, and I'm not regretting it. Uh, this kit was fifteen hundred and twenty-five dollars for uh, the kit, and uh, just for um, good faith and with all the delays and stuff. Uh, Rosen from Tin Tin Hobbies there had hooked me up with some servos and uh, speed controller for it, which is I appreciate that greatly. So, um, but like I say, some of the the, the changes on the kits, uh, there's the doors don't have the latches. I see. Um, like I say, the you know the front mounted servo, uh, it comes with the light kit, uh, but basically all the other stuff is pretty there. I mean. If, uh, if you want to see a good build series on this, um, um, uh, Medic from uh, Spark Studios there on uh, YouTube, he, he's done a few of these. He is a team driver for them, and uh, I think he's got two of these already. He has one with the Aromatic kit um, that raises and lowers it with the air shocks. Um, you know, he put the, you know, the, the dubs on his, which I'm going to do on this one too. So, but like I say, I wanted to show you guys, you know, the, you know, the just how well the Toyin engine dropped, whoop, <laughs> dropped right in there. And you can see I had made a bracket right there to set it up in. And, you know, the kit is just phenomenal quality. I mean, as far as the, uh, you know, if even the, their disc brakes and stuff there you know they're it's just amazing um one thing i did find out um some of the hardware <laughs> uh, the heads are you know kind of stripped out on them you know the they just but they're all stainless and uh so i don't know if these came with the uh the gold brass screws or plated screws or not but the uh on the most part, I'm basically working on a transmission for it uh, right now. Um, I did put together the factory version, you know, so far. Um, I did this all on uh, seat of my pants. Um, there was a RC hobby shop in France that had the engine kind of downloaded on a YouTube video. And uh, I checked it out, and that's how I built it. And... Yeah, like I say, when you look at all the hardware and stuff you got, um, you can pretty much put it together. And uh, I got a CAN 540 in the thing right now, and it has helical cut gears in it, and which is pretty cool. And uh, but like I say, so my thought was I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it together with the electric version in it, um, the Toyin FS100 engine. Um, I put that in there because I would like to make that a Toyin FS100. But I would like to try it with the electric version, you know, for shits and giggles. But um, some, of the, some of the cool things I noticed about the kit um, was, the, you know, like I say, the, the quality is, is phenomenal. It was, 
there's nothing to complain about there. I've got some kits that were total nightmares to put together. This is a complicated kit, but it's well worth it as far as um, your finished product is. It'll be, you know, one of one. It's the best of the best. So one thing I thought was really cool was uh, the guy, he's a big Pac-Man nut. So like the, the rims have a Pac-Man on them and the rear ends um you can see that there they got a pac-man on them you know which is that was wicked cool back in the day um one thing i was a little uh a little i don't know confused about because i'd seen this on um you know spark studios there when he did his review on his and um everything in the kit comes with you know a, i mean a really nice box and all that stuff and uh you know everything's pack I mean extremely well um, but when I had opened the box from what I understand uh, there was a translation uh, I guess mess up there between uh, I think they were looking for the word exciting or awesome or something there um, so <laughs> So anybody out there uh, that pops this thing open, this is, uh, you know, it's going to be a little surprise there. You know, don't have grandma or the kids in the room. Because um, I, I don't imagine you're going to be buying this kit for your little kid, you know. And uh, if, if, there, if so, he's going to have to learn a few new words in his dictionary. So anyway, so this is the epic build of 2020. It's going to be the Capo JK Max. Um with a Toyin FS100 in it. Um, I did measure it out for the Toyin V4. All right. Uh, if you look in there, it's tight. You know, it's going to be a tight fit. And the, um, the V4, you got to do a lot of, I guess, you know, retrofitting in there um for one you're going to have to widen your shock towers to get that in there somehow which kind of defeats the purpose of the great uh you know uh, geometry they have for the suspension you know once you uh, do that plus the weight of it in the front they do have a two stage spring in the front of these things um you know the light and then the heavy for your you know for crawling and all that stuff this is not made to be a high-speed unit. Uh, this is made for, you know, crawling and trailing and all that stuff, which is pretty cool. So um, it could use the power of the uh, of the uh, V4, in my opinion. But uh, after I got this running properly, uh, like I say, it was um, it was more than powerful enough for my HTP 407 and that was a pretty heavy kit now this is supposedly weighs in at 13 pounds or something like that and I think my uh, my toy in with all the add-ons and stuff that I put on there rolled in about 12 10 to 12 pounds so you're talking a few more pounds here and uh, all depends on your gearing and all that stuff so and I looked at these these have lock differentials in them they don't have the diffs in them like the um, the JK Wrangler had the four-door version they had of this um, I see a few of them have popped up um, Here locally in the United States They're about three grand for the kit um, That was probably uh, One of the most epic RC cars I'd ever seen in my life you know to uh, You know all through the years of, of uh, Kits and all that stuff as far as realism and scale but I like this. It's like I say, it was took a chunk out of my wallet, and uh, I'll be paying for it for a while because I put it on credit. And but it's something I'll enjoy, and it'll be a one-off four-stroke Capo JK Max uh, trail blaster. So anyway any questions comments feel free to hit me up like share subscribe if you want show your friends uh this is probably going to be um like i say a one-off build you know um i am going to order a couple of 
uh, I got some options for it. I do want to put the air ride in it, and uh, I am going to change the wheels and tires on it down the road. But right now, I'm going to fudge my way through of uh, seat of the fans putting this thing together and uh, go from there. So, anyway, like I say, you guys have a great Christmas. Um, I hope you like this build because I. Like I say, I, I uh, we got enough, a lot of money in this build, so and it ain't done yet. But uh, there's no way YouTube revenue is going to return this money here, and I made that decision a long time ago. So, like I say, when I roll, you know, maybe you'll see my stuff on eBay or something, or my kid will, uh, he'll inherit a, quite a collection of stuff. So, like I say, censor the box, boys, when you uh, open it up and show Grandma. And, uh, and you say, I highly recommend one of these things if, if you have the opportunity to get one. And if you want to make it a four-stroke nitro version like I'm going to, come back and visit my builds because it's definitely going in there. So, all right, guys. Have a good one. Adios.